So I'm hanging out with this awesome 2004 Mustang Cobra. It has a Whipple supercharger, and it's developing almost 680 horsepower. What an amazing machine. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to clean up a couple stuff on this car, because this car is equipped with a lot of matte black finishes. We have matte black custom True Forge wheels with powder coated matte black centers, and then we also have a lot of textured black uh, items under the hood. We have a textured black Whipple supercharger. We have a True Forge. Uh, this is actually an air conditioning system that actually cools the supercharger even more and matching tanks on the front. And these are both powder coated with a texture type of finish that actually has a rough feel. And it's difficult for the owner to clean this with a traditional quick detail spray. So today I'm going to use meticulous matte detailer. Meticulous matte detailer is a quick detail spray designed exactly for matte finishes, matte vinyl, powder coated, painted, even spray painted and plasti dip surfaces. Works on all of them to give a matte sheen. You can wipe down the finish, remove any fingerprints and light dust, while also giving a no sheen finish so it has a great look on any color matte surface. It might be matte black, matte white, or any other color matte. So let's start on the wheel first. Now the owner was talking to me about how it's difficult for him to detail these wheels because if he uses a traditional detail spray, it actually makes the paint uh, on the wheel streak. It's not really a paint, it's actually a powder coated material. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some meticulous matte detail and I'm gonna turn my sprayer on and I'm gonna go ahead and spray the wheel lightly. Now this wheel is actually pretty clean. Uh, it's actually well maintained. The owner actually maintains this car with Chemical Guys products. So that's why the car has such a good look. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a light mist of the meticulous matte detailer all over the wheel to get it clean. Now I'm gonna take a fresh microfiber towel. This is a microfiber with a micro cotton lining and I'm gonna start cleaning the wheel. Now you might notice that the meticulous matte detailer actually fell on this chrome lip. I don't have to worry about that because meticulous matte detailer works perfectly fine on chrome. It'll wipe right off and still give a good look. And right just with a few wipes of the microfiber towel using the meticulous matte detailer, I'm able to get a nice black clean sheen look right out of this wheel. These wheels are extremely complex uh, to care for. They have a lot of rivets and a lot of small areas that need extra care. I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the rim first. We could show you that I could spray a little tiny bit on here and I can actually clean the face of the lip even with the meticulous matte detailer and it won't harm the finish. There we go. So you can see I'm pulling dirt off the wheel. That wheel looks clean, but look at the dirt that's coming off the wheel. Every car needs to be maintained perfectly, so we want to make sure that we do a good job and give that fresh look. Now if you notice, just with a couple wipes, I got that nice sheen back to the finish. And you might have to take your time on a wheel like this because you really need to take the microfiber towel and you have to take it and go into every little crack to remove all that dirt, dust, brake dust, fingerprints. You want that wheel to look fresh. This is actually a show car that was in Muscle Mustangs and 504's, or Muscle Mustangs Super Ford's magazine. So you want to make sure that it looks awesome when it goes to another photo shoot. This car is actually getting ready for Fabulous Fords Forever, which is the uh, largest uh, Ford gathering in California. So we want to make sure that it looks extra good for that show coming up in the spring months. Now that wheel looks real fresh. Look at the look that we got on the wheel. The wheel is smooth. It has no uh, drips or stains. It looks extremely fresh. Plus the chrome lip, which is not polished, actually chrome, was able to be cleaned perfectly without any issue. It's a great looking wheel and now we have some fun. So let's move over to the engine bay, clean some little bit more touches on here. So up here on top of the engine bay is actually these custom tanks. These are actually a tank for the coolant of the engine. And this is actually the tank for the intercooler system for the supercharger. But we can actually go ahead and start with a clean side of our microfiber towel. So I'm gonna fold over to a clean side. If you buy a new microfiber towel and there's a tag, you can easily go ahead and pull it off and throw it away. And to clean these, I don't wanna take my meticulous matte detailer and spray it all over the engine because that's gonna get over spray and it's gonna make it look horrible. So I'm gonna take a little bit of meticulous matte detailer and I'm gonna spray a few sprays on my microfiber towel. And then I'm easily going to go ahead and start cleaning this overflow tank right here. Goes ahead and removes all the dirt off the overflow tank. Look at what came off that overflow tank. It's black and black hides everything. But when you use a yellow microfiber towel, you really see the dirt that's coming off that surface. Let's go ahead and spray a little bit more on here and start moving over here to this overflow tank. We want to make sure we get all the dust, dirt, debris. When you have a supercharged engine like this, uh, the belt is under a lot of tension and it ends up actually throwing belt dust 
all over the engine. It's not brake dust. It's not normal dust. It's actually belt dust. And look what's coming off that overflow tank. That is real dust and dirt being thrown off from the supercharger. This car is not one of those cars that sits around. The owner, Eric, actually really likes to drive it. It's a fun car. When you have almost 700 horsepower, you can really hammer it and have a lot of fun. Now we got that tank looking great. And we can also clean the top of the intercooler tank the same method by using a little bit of meticulous matte detailer. Great product, real easy to use. And now look, our intercooler tanks are clean, they're fresh, and there is no dirt on there. It's clean. You're probably looking on the camera saying, hey, those are clean, that's a clean engine bay. But you saw all the dirt that came right off into our towel that was coming off the engine bay and was coming off our wheels. Let's go ahead and clean up one more thing real quick. Let's clean up this Whipple supercharger. This is actually a twin screw supercharger. It's actually a Whipple 2.3 liter supercharger. Kind of funny that this supercharger is actually bigger than most Honda engines. So you've got a lot of air going down and getting pumped into that motor. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean the top of the supercharger real good. So Eric, the owner, is impressed and it looks real good when he takes it down to his show. We go, look at all the dirt that's coming right off that supercharger. Disgusting. But we want to make it look real nice. This is going to a car show. So let's spray a little bit more quick detailer of our meticulous mat right on our microfiber towel. And let's clean the front cover of this Whipple supercharger. There we go. And let's also clean the snout. This car is actually called the snout. It's where the belt drive connects inside the supercharger to turn the twin screw gears. And we'll see the dirt that's come off. We'll go get more dirt. And if you're like doing this quickly and you don't want to go get another quick detail spray, we can actually clean stuff that's shiny if you're in a pinch. So right here is a plastic uh, cold air intake made by JLT. So I'm going to go ahead and take a few sprays of uh, our meticulous matte quick detail spray and I'm going to wipe it down real good. And this is cool if you don't want a lot of shine. Like this is an underhood piece, so we really don't want a lot of shine uh, on our cold air intake. We just want it to blend in and be an accessory to the engine bay. We don't want it to be the main staple. The main staple is a supercharger. So we want to clean our cold air intake so it looks good, but it's not too shiny, so it's not grabbing too much attention in there. So now I showed you how easy it is to use the meticulous matte detailer to clean anything. Clean underhood items, clean custom wheels, it works on spray paint, it works on Plasti Dip, powder coated, and it works on any matte vinyl wrap. So if you need, have any more questions about any of our products, you can subscribe to our YouTube account or you can find me and Meticulous Matt Detailer hanging out at chemicalguys.com.